Welcome to Work in Progress. Today's episode, Custodies. Welcome back to Can Hammer, everybody. Your source for 40K from the Great White North. And today we have a work in progress episode on the Captain General Trajan Veloris of the Adeptus Custodes. This is the new kind of chapter master for the Custodes. And uh, what a sweet, sweet little model. Now, I bought him just because it's an awesome model. I don't think he's going to make it to any of my lists. The army's expensive enough. <laughs> Uh, to not have to try and make space for a 250 point HQ and the shield captains are definitely good um, So but I'm still gonna put them together and paint them up so he can be a showcase now I've decided that my custodies are going to be the uh, prison keeper um, What's it called dread watch dead watch? Yeah. Anyway, I can't remember the official name, but the guys who are the black jails uh, black cells keepers so black armor with gold trimmings but he is the captain general of all custodies so he's going to be the traditional full gold with the sort of uh, crimson red robes so that's the plan for this guy let's unbox this baby there's a rumor that constantine valdor is going to be released for the 30k custodies which would be sweet because i might pick him up too um but um here we go all right here we go captain general trajan valoris his uh, data sheet in various languages on the back and very nice instructions look like a beautiful sculpt as usual with all the hidden um, join lines doesn't look like it's going to be too difficult to put together although it looks like there are some join lines right along the cloak so hopefully they fit together nicely there we go it's going to be a sick model So here we are, there's his massive axe. It's that really nice kind of Primaris sort of um, plastic, the sort of thicker, smoother, rounder edged plastic. So really nice. Uh, so this was in fact GW 2018. So there you go. Uh, is a pretty nice kit and of course the symbol on the back of the cloak actually painted in so that's awesome i thought that was some freehand there but actually that is etched onto the cloak so it shouldn't be as hard for people like me and a 40 millimeter base is all custodies come on so i've actually ordered a bunch of dry, um custom resin bases not custom but uh, pre-made resin bases from dragonforge.com if you're looking for interesting uh, bases that you don't have to make yourself for your models do check out dragonforge.com i'll put the link down in the show notes below um, they do amazing bases and i want my custodians to look like they're standing in the palace so i've ordered these kind of marble kind of uh like um what's the word i'm looking for like stepping stone not stepping stones but you know marble floor sort of um sort of bases which are i'm waiting to arrive so should arrive at the same time as my thunderhawk base so i ordered those for all my custodies and uh it's going to be pretty sweet so there we go now we're going to get on and put this guy together and come back to you all right, I'm just kind of just started a third of the way through assembling this guy. It's very easy as all these models are. But before I went too far, I just want to point this out. So this torso piece now, so that front top is front and back piece as usual. Detail on this is remarkable as always. This front uh, kind of plate with the right foot is one piece. 
and that kind of slips with a piece that goes into the body so it's quite secure it's not just a round sort of peg like the other things and then this little plate here is a separate piece that has a little tab that fits into the belt so you know that it's in the right place and then this cloak piece is one piece and it fits onto the back of that leg and that thigh and it actually has a sculpted scabbard back here which is almost will be eventually almost completely hidden from sight but it's beautifully sculpted like it's behind this leg you can't even see it but it's just amazing <laughs> and uh, obviously the outside of the cloak is sculpted crazy but yeah so that's amazing we'll keep going with this here we go here's my um duder trajan valoris uh, nice model very easy to put together a uh, beautifully detailed just look at the detail on this guy it's quite ridiculous and a beautiful beautiful model so it's assembled now so i just glued him with super glue onto the base so i can use him with the uh so i could paint him with this thingamajigger uh and then when i get my dragon forge bases i'll uh, i'll just pop them off and put them onto those so uh, that's what i'm gonna do for all the custodies just use the base they come with for now just super glue so i can pop them off and replace and then paint all the bases separate and then put them on top so let's go on and open another box of guys I think what I'll do next is um, I want to make a uh, a unit I think I'll do these two custodian boxes because I'm still waiting for a box of these guys and the plan for that is to make three units of three duders um, and a vexilla and then that'll be sort of the 10 guys in the two boxes. And these guys are just going to get two, um, two custodian, normal LR dudes, the, the, no, no Vexilla. I don't think there's much point in but spending the points on the Terminator armor for the Vexilla. So we're going to put these guys together now. All right, so we got two boxes of these guys. So here we go. that same kind of high quality, what I like to call Primaris plastic. Different from the old school plastic, of course. Seems smoother and, and tougher. And uh, yeah, all right, here's a big book here. This is quite a big book for three models. Um, but I guess there's a lot of variation. So if when you take Custodian A, you can turn him into a shield captain. You can also turn him into well, custodian B. And then shield captain. And then the vexilla. And then custodian C. Yeah, there's a, a lot of dudes here. And then the other, the other issue is, and then of course all the uh, data sheets. Oh, and a, a color guide. Nice. Very cool. Okay, so then the other issue is um, the Misericordias. These are little knives. Now, they get modeled, and I think I'm going to model them on um, because there's actually a little spot for them. But you have to pay extra for them. Four points per, and it's one extra attack, basically. A special attack that you get in combat. So unless I have an extra points at the end of my list making, I'm not going to buy extra attack for four points these guys are expensive enough already so but i'm going to model them on and um, i think it'll work out okay so we're going to get these babies together so you can see here the sprues um pretty cool i love those guardian spears very cool sprues very nice look at these this cape is pr crazy detailed there Pretty nice. There's the big vexilla, so I'll keep it. So we'll have lots of extra vexillas. There's basically one in every box, so I might as well keep it. Look at this front of this armor. It's pretty detailed. I thought it was maybe just Veloris that's so detailed, but everybody's like that. It's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to put these guys together, and we'll get back to you. All right, Alaris Terminator first set of three is done. 
actually take quite a bit of time to assemble these guys lots of parts but as you can see just amazing models with uh, so much detail really quite crazy awesome awesome look at these guys gonna be fun to paint even the weapons and all the gilding on the bolter and the staffs oh it's gonna be fun to paint but it's gonna take a while to paint these guys um, very cool okay and then I've got my other two guys here I don't want to lift them up because I just put them on their bases but they're basically very similar and this third person, you know, this one could be the Vexilla and that one could be the Captain, which is basically just different shoulder pads and the Guardian Spear. And this one had the Vexilla. So I have those bits so I can always make Vexillas just by swapping out the arms. Very easy, just take the arm off and that's it. So that's three Allurus done. I'm going to do the next three and I'll come back to you. All right, six Alaris Terminators done. After I did the first one, the others just took about five minutes each to not take long at all. Very cool models, super detailed, very awesome. I decided to go for the faces instead of the masks because these guys are like special, but all the other custodians, I'm gonna do the mask. So that's cool. Uh, so these guys are ready to go, just super glued on the bases so I can remove them. And uh, we're going to go on and make a batch of custodians uh, for one of my lists. I think I need three custodians and then I want to make a Vexilla, so that'll be good for that. And then uh, by the time we finish that, later on this week, I'll be getting my bikers. All right, I finished a five-man unit of custodian guards, but really I'm getting ten, un ten models, so two boxes, and doing nine, so three, three, and three, because you can take them in units of three, and I rarely am going to use them, but I'm going to build them. And also I used the 10th guy to make the Vexilla. So uh, these guys were not as easy to put together, a little bit finicky. Anytime you have to have weapons where the two hands join up, always more finicky, I find. Marines with bolters, pain in the ass. But uh, they're otherwise pretty similar, very detailed, very cool models, high quality models. And again, I just super glued them to the base for, for painting purposes but very awesome models just like the terminators you can see how you know pretty distinctive looking from the terminators and the axes of course and then we have the vexilla so the vexilla all the vexillas are different so the vexilla and the alaris box is different from this one i like this one better than the other one which just has rope i like the little scrolls but all the vexillas are right handed and as you can see nobody has right left-handed weapons i guess in the 40th, 40th uh, millennium there are no lefties so this dude is shit out of luck in terms of having a weapon so i left his arm empty even if it's just a pointing hand uh so like i need a left-handed guardian spear because he can take a guardian spear or an axe uh or a storm shield it's the instructions model him with a storm shield obviously but i don't want a storm shield so um and uh, there is a model, a warden's model, the sort of sergeant dude who has a left-handed um, guardian spear. So I'm going to have to get a box of wardens for that left-handed guardian spear. So um, that's just what I have to do. So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to wait for that guy uh, for when I get the wardens and we'll put that together. So otherwise, I've got Valoris, five custodians so far with the Vexilla, and six terminators and i'm ready to receive the bikes which will be coming in a few days all right i sorted my vexilla out i took a, a shield arm from the box and i took the um the remaining uh guardian spear and it has a left hand at the top because it's two-handed and i cut the right hand off at the bottom Uh, I love these models. I think they are just so awesome. We're going to see them in more detail, but you can see on the back how much detail is on these models. It's going to be fantastic. Now, if you look over there, let me just move the camera around a second. You may see uh, four of the boxes of these guys. <laughs> yeah. So I'm intending to have 15 bikers 
move my camera back again and um, to build a lot of custodian lists based around bikers because I think they're the best unit in the codex. Anyway, let's go on and unbox these guys. Very cool box. Custodies. Here we are. Full instructions now. Um, it looks like the bike goes together first in its entirety and then the rider goes on top and then the arms and the handlebars kind of fit together and the cloak on each side. So it looks like uh, we should be able to do the bike and the guy separate um, in terms of painting. Um, if you wanted to make these guys a different color, that is. If you just want to put them as standard gold color, then you could just assemble them and spray it all up together, which is probably what I'm going to do because I'm doing Dread Host color scheme, which is all gold except for black on the shoulders. Now, the one thing we're definitely going to have to do is magnetize the weapon arm, which looks like it's a single piece which is great, so one piece with the arm and just a shoulder pad um, because this sort of thing is gonna be crazy for transport. <laughs> so I think we're gonna have to weapon, um, magnetize the weapon arms, which are mostly one or two pieces it seems, just looking at some of the other guys here. Yeah, one or two pieces. And then these flying stands, uh, interesting, okay. So it looks like it comes with flying stands like speeders or it comes with flying stands like that. You have a choice. Interesting, okay. So um, I have ordered this shape flying stand from Dragonforge with my Dragonforge order. Uh, same as the, the, the um, stands uh, the bases that I ordered for the rest of my custodies with the sort of palace looking kind of marble blocks uh, tiles on it so I'm probably going to use those but it's interesting to note that they give you the option here um, so it might be useful to actually attach this for painting and then when the bases come take them off and put them onto that anyway that's useful there here are the sprues so very awesome. So that's a bike chassis there. Uh, it's about the same size as a Space Marine bike. Uh, oh, well, that's not even the whole thing. So you still st stick the front onto it. So it's pretty big. Um, awesome. I think each sprue makes one guy, basically. And that's the lance. The lance is about four inches long. Uh -huh. So definitely something to magnetize. All right, and here we have the uh, flying stands. There's four of them for some reason. Uh, there's two taller ones and two smaller ones. And then we have the uh, speeder bases here. And we have these sort of uh, 75 millimeter by 45 millimeter flying stands there. So we'll do what we will with those later on. Now the real question is whether or not we should use hurricane bolters or the sort of melter rockets. Um, and that is a very good question. I have not decided yet, so we'll see. I'm not sure how easy it is to magnetize. Um, we'll have to find out. Let's see, kind of fits in that piece there. It might be too difficult to magnetize. We'll have to see as we go and make our decisions. All right, so we're going to start to assemble these guys and then uh, come on back. All right, here's the bike done. Bike is pretty cool. Uh, lots of parts. Each of these little wings is a little part. The little stepping stool part is a part. These two sides come together and then this front eagle is a separate part. That's the most tricky bit. And then the bolters of the missiles go in there. It's pretty straightforward. This canopy piece with the big air grill sticks in there. 
and then all these little pieces go on the side these two big vents this top thing these back engines all separate parts so very detailed bike this little bar behind the head and then the misericordia that sticks into there so pretty cool very complex bike structure i love the front of this bike with this eagle there and the boulders there and then this uh this big grill with the with the like the way the grill looks at the top with the piping and then with the uh, aquila there it's like a it's like a it's like a big you know turbo like a car so looks very cool these bikes look cool indeed all right we're gonna go on to the rider all right so um i just put the rider on and so the rider is separate basically so i, I put all the bikes together and then you put the riders together and then the handlebar goes on the bike and there's no real variation in how it fits on so you can put that on but then this left arm attaches at the wrist to the um, hand there's a hand sculpted onto that handlebar so that has to be pretty precise it's pretty molded to fit but it doesn't quite fit perfectly you have to sort of push it around and so you can see there there's not quite lining up it was lining up now it slipped a little bit so you have to kind of hold it like that till it solidifies um i th i thought about keeping the rider separate which uh certainly is possible you just have to glue it like this but then there's these bits here that go on the leg which need to fit over the exhaust and that would make it difficult to put on separately unless you want to keep those separate too which is too much hassle so i'm just going to glue it together it means it's going to make it harder to paint those bits but you know like the old raven wing days so we'll carry on but that's just a little tip there all right i got three bikes finished it's taken a couple of hours actually just to be very careful about what I was doing and thinking about whether I wanted to keep them separate or not. I put the bikers together in the end as a whole just because these cloak bits would have been hard to fit in secondarily and I don't want to have to separately paint too many things because I need to play with these guys very soon. So, um, so I put most of the bikers together and I left the arm off with the lance because I'm hoping to magnetize them because otherwise it's going to be a pain in the butt for transport with these things sticking up like this and uh, I can just see everything snapping although they're flimsy but they're fairly like thick like it's like a couple of millimeters thick it's not super skinny so it might be okay um we'll see it depends on how difficult it is to magnetize but you should be able to fit a magnet in there it's almost made for a magnet you still have to drill for a magnet in there and i don't have any small magnets so i need to go grab some magnets but there's three guys done we'll keep putting some more guys together all right so um it comes with two bases this um see-through base like speeders and then it comes with these bases there for more scenic bases it has a little ball on the top and it fits snuggly into the little socket that they made at the bottom there but it does roll around this is basically a ball and socket joint so it will have to be glued eventually but this is probably a good temporary playing base until my dragon forge bases arrive uh, so we'll use that just for size comparison that's sammy on a jet bike and these guys are definitely beefier and the length of the bike is about the same the size of the bike is about the same. Maybe it's a little bit wider and chunkier, but the guy on top is obviously a little bit bigger. Not that much bigger, though, to be honest. Um, and But the whole model just looks a lot beefier. And this is a normal Space Marine bike, so uh, like a Raven Wing bike, and it's way bigger than that. So that's pretty awesome. All right, uh, I've built six bikes now, just building three more riders. A couple more insights. First of all, the bolters, make sure you note which way, which uh, set of bolters goes on which side, because it does matter. If you put this bolter onto that side, 
it will not fit this middle eagle piece will not fit so you have to make sure there's a little uh, ridge on one side of them make sure they face towards the middle just look at the instructions so don't get caught by that um, second of all this uh, sword there you have to make sure it's put as far back as possible otherwise it will stop the rider from seating in properly so um, make sure you put the misericordia appropriately out of the way it is okay to put the handlebars straight on you don't have to wait to build the rider because uh, it does not change for the rider and finally the difference between the riders normal bikers and the shield captains is merely that the helmet can be swapped for the bareheaded one. There's literally no other difference between the captain and the normal bikers, including shoulder pads. So there's no difference at all between them. Um, so you can swap in between bikers and captains as and how you please on your list. Now, um, the other thing to note is it's probably impossible to magnetize the weapon. So make your choice or buy double the number of bikers. All right, watching the Super Bowl and drilling some bikes. So all 15 have been assembled uh, with their uh, lance arm off. This is the first one here that I've drilled. So um, here we go. So this lance arm here, and if we, sorry, one-handed, I've got the uh, magnet in there and the magnet in the top of that arm so works pretty well and then we're gonna chop off the balls off of the top of these and put a magnet in there so and then put a magnet in there so that's gonna work pretty well for these guys and they'll be fully magnetized so now I just gotta repeat that 14 more times I gotta say the magnetizing is going fine but these right shoulder pads do not fit on any of these arms uh, I've had to use um, the putty in order to fill the massive space between the shoulder and the shoulder pads. They just do not fit unless you totally want to cover. And this is already covering quite a bit, so they just do not fit. Somebody else on Instagram was remarking that none of the right arms fit properly, and the, I found that as well. Not good, DW. All right, I have magnetized all 15 bikes. The magnetization involves putting a little stud in the shoulder here and a corresponding stud in the shoulder arm piece now uh, as I mentioned before these have had to be puttied on these shoulder pads because they just do not fit well at all all of them they're all like that so that's disappointing but hopefully it'll be okay i'm gonna let these sit for another half an hour before i try them out hopefully it'll be strong enough otherwise that was a lot of wasted effort now i don't know if this is a wasted effort i took those little balls off and i put the little magnets on the top i've just glued it onto the stand right now and the next step will be to glue the top magnet into the bottom of the bike see if that's strong enough if not i'm just going to super glue the stems right in and then uh, I'll be taking the stems out anyway when I get my custom bases. So um, for now, this just has to do me for the next sort of week. I'm getting my bases next week. Um, so this just has to do me for the next week. Because I don't really like these round speeder bases. I'd rather replace them with the biker bases. Um, give you a little bit more tactical flexibility because they're oval. You can go long or you can go wider. So um, I think that's what I'm going to do. But... Yep, so these guys are looking pretty good. Going to let them sit here for a bit and then try and, uh, you know, magnet them up. All right. Ride of the Golden Brigade. Here it comes. 15 bikers coming right at you. Looks sweet. <clears throat> Saw the magnet magnetizing work quite well. Most of the shoulder pads stayed on. Had to redo a couple of them. Um, but yeah, otherwise it worked surprisingly well with the lances in all sorts of awkward positions. And, uh, the bases, all I did was cut the ball off. I tried magnets, but it just wasn't strong enough. And to get bigger magnets, the hole wasn't big enough. So then I just cut through the hole, going up the hole. There's just a little, uh, arch that is easy to cut through. And then after that, there's another piece of plastic that stoppers it. So actually you can just stick the stand without the ball on the end right up the hole and it sticks on very nice and snug and it's good so it's worked out pretty well that way 
Um, so when I get my resin bases, I can just take the stems off and then glue them onto the resin bases and it will be done. So these guys are done assembly. Time to spray them gold. All right, uh, here is my Custodes Force. There's actually four, uh, five more Custodians that are just getting golded. They'll go there, but, uh, and that is an old landroid I had that I've painted gold. So I've got my Custodians, Vexilla, Valoris, Alaris Terminators, and 15 bikes, all sprayed up ready to paint. So uh, you may or may not have seen various aspects of these things being built in this video, but that's all I'm going to show for the building of these things. After building one or two, it gets kind of boring watching them being built. So we'll get on to painting now. So thanks very much for watching this video. If you like what you see, please kick the like button below. If you'd like to subscribe to Can Hammer, please click on the little symbol down there. And if you want to support what we do here on the channel, please feel free to support us by kick clicking the link to patreon.com forward slash canhammer right up there. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.